Now, back to running backs, shall we? We talked about how Tennessee is grasping at straws for some Oof. offensive weapons. Um, sure are. Their running back play has been a little bit interesting. Dontrell Hilliard is who I want to start with. Uh, he was mentioned in last week's waiver wire podcast, mentioning him here again. Um, man, he he had some production this week. He played half the snaps in week 12, 12 carries, 131 yards and a score, a 68 yard, touchdown. yard yeah. touchdown run. Dude's got some burst. He's got some ceiling in him. Um, against a really great Patriots defense. Yeah. And last week he had 10 targets. Like, I, I don't know. There might be, there were there smoke. There might be some fancy football fire, ladies and gents. Running backs are so trash. Like, <laughs> <laughs> well, AP is gone. AP is gone. So it's just, no, I, I, I know. It's just hilarious, right? That. And then, Henry goes down, and then it's Peterson, and then it's McNichols, Jeremy McNichols, and then it's Donta Foreman, and then oh hey, here's uh, Dontrell Hill- Hilliard. Hilliard, Hilliard, Hilliard. Easier for you to say. I know. So Hilliard, ten targets last week, and then busts off a big old touchdown run this week. Average ten yards a carry, eleven yards a carry this week against the great. Patriots defense. He's got some shimmy. I don't, I don't know what else to say. Like I was expecting him to have a fine game and have like five to six catches. And instead he only had one and has 130 rushing yards. Like what are you supposed to do? Like start it's fantastic. If, Hilliard. If, yeah, it's great if you started him. So he's rostered in only 30% of leagues. He's on a bye week this week. Ooh, do you add him on a bye? Uh, you have to, Ooh. right? You, you absolutely have to. Okay, so to unpack the rest of Dontrell Hilliard, you also have Deonta Foreman, who played the other 50% of snaps, rushed <laughs> rushed 19, uh, 19 times for more than 100 yards himself and did catch the only target that he had. Um, what I would say, if you look at numbers to numbers, you're like, oh my God, I don't know who do I pick. Do I go Hilliard? Do I go Foreman? Do I go Hilliard? Do I go Foreman? However, Deonta Foreman uh, rushed 19 times, eight of those 19 and 37 of his yards were in the fourth quarter when the Titans mm-hmm. were already being blown out. When it was a game, it was Dontrell Hilliard. So... I think you got to keep that in mind. And unless you were watching the game or I don't know, listen to us, you might not know that. So while I would say don't ignore the volume, they were being completely blown out and it wasn't a game when Foreman got a lot of his work. So um, the other thing is Foreman had two touches inside the five to Hilliard's one. But again, you don't have AP now. It looks like a two headed backfield. I guess my the only concern that I have with either of these guys is Jeremy Jeremy McNichols when he comes back and what does that mean for these two? <sighs> I know. <laughs> I don't know. I still like if, if if all three of them are healthy, I don't know how you start any of them almost to a certain extent until you can you figure gotta, it out. Yeah. If you, like if if you're telling me that you're putting your eggs in a Titans running back that isn't Derrick Henry to try to make the playoffs or to get in the like the first round of the playoffs and because what you really want to see is McNichols come back for week 14 so and you be can completely see how the t- irrelevant well or completely take over you want or, one of the three of them to be completely established when everything is equal Right now, be- between Hilliard and Foreman, you got to go Hilliard. But with McNichols I, coming in? Well, McNichols is just a receiving back at this point. He doesn't do any any carrying. So the fact that Hilliard was getting carries is encouraging. Yeah. Now, so they're on a bye week this week to... They, they have Jacksonville and Pittsburgh, which are two really great matchups. Mm-hmm. So provided they all three play against Jacksonville, I get why you'd want to start 
somebody in that matchup because it's a fantastic matchup. But if the, if they're all three playing, like let's say they have like 40% of snaps, 40% of snaps and 20% of snaps between the three of them in some combination starting anybody against Pittsburgh the first week of the playoffs is a tough ask. It just is. But but you want to roster them. Like they should be rostered. Now, yeah. from a from a fab perspective, yeah, what are we what are we spending? Oh god. Dontrell, <laughs> Deonta, and McNichols. Who do you like the most McNich- and what are you spending? McNichols is last as a zero ad at this point. He's probably been added and dropped in your league, which is what I did in ours. He's rostered in 16%, dropped in more than 8% of leagues in the last week. So he's out there I, and zero. I would not add McNichols. Yep. I wouldn't even add him. I, I would add the other two before I added McNichols. To your point, we prefer Hilliard over Foreman because of the previously mentioned five minutes of this podcast. Foreman is rostered in 40% of ESPN leagues, dropped in 14% of leagues in the last week. So he got spiked. I feel like you can get Hilliard for cheap because people are going to be looking at the Madison and the Chubba Hubbard and kind of forget about Hilliard. Hilliard is rostered in 28% of leagues and was added in 28% of leagues in the last week. He was 0% owned uh, going into last week. So. Uh, Again, if people have been listening to us and actually spending fab the way that we're talking on some of these guys, uh, you might not have much left. It's possible, depending on how much you have. One, take a look at the budget in your league to see how much other people have left and bid more than a low person that's like, so if you have like 50 bucks left and somebody else has $27 and you want to make sure to outbid them, bid 28. Um, I think you might be able to justify it. The worry being that if Derrick Henry comes back at the very end of the season, it's probably Hilliard. Um, I honestly don't know what anybody should bid on him because it's take take a look at your league and see who see who you have to outbid, and maybe that's the play. I am a how's, how's that for a weak answer? <laughs> that's so weak. I'm. Thank I, you. I will plant my flag. I'm a believer in Hilliard. Um, McNichols was the pass passing down back. AP was the early down back. AP has gone. That opens down the early downs for me in my mind. And so visa V Hilliard beat out Foreman for that work. It's Hilliard. And also, by the way, Hilliard doesn't need to be taken out on passing downs. He offers some of that, uh, two yeah. dimensionalism, uh, two dimensionalism. Um, is that a word? I don't know. It is now. <laughs> um, so with that extra dimension to the offense, I think that I would prefer Hilliard. I would go, I don't know, geez, 15, 20%. I want to say, 